What's up dudes, my name is Nick, welcome back for another news video, and in this one we're going to be talking about the new, the recent news that Infinite member Hoya is going to be, well, he did not renew his contract with Willem Entertainment, so after 7 years he has left the company, and he has also left the group, and that's really all of all the news, except for the, the detail that he has his own personal direction that is unknown that he wants to pursue, and Willem Entertainment is like, that's cool, dude, you do you. Um, also, too, of course, that would raise questions as to what the future of Infinite is going to be, but they have revealed plans that they are planning on continue on, on you know getting together promotions and a new song and a new release. Uh, I believe to to release something towards the end of this year. I believe it is as six members because they were seven a seven member group previously. But now that Hoya is gone, that means that they are now six members strong. Um, so it's all somewhat interesting news. I mean, Infinite it has not been the most. Um, prolific group in k-pop in for the last couple of years like they've released maybe what one song a year if that or one album or something like that a year if if that which is you know i suppose normal ish for a boy group to release to, to, to have like infrequent releases like that but it's not really normal for a for a group that is i don't know trying to stay in 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 the public eye or trying to stay on people's radar on in k-pop because they're just apparently somebody at, at the company or members of the group themselves were just content with putting out an album a year and that was fine so hoya is going off to do his own thing i don't know i don't know specifically what it is i guess he's done a, lot, a bunch of acting in the past so he could potentially be interested in going that i've also heard some strong rumor or rumors that people strongly believe that he has more interested in having a solo career or going in his own direction creatively or creatively when it comes to the music that he's doing that infinite isn't necessarily going to be doing as a group so you know he he wants to do his own thing, and Infinite's kind of kind of be holding him back from doing that, which is fair. He's been what seven years since they debuted. His contract is seven years long, and seven years is a very 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 long time, especially for someone who's in their early twenty early early twenties mid twenties. You know, in in the in their twenties, seven years is a very very long time. A lot of stuff changes. You grow up and you change as a person a lot. You get a much 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 better idea of what exactly it is that you would like to do so you know he despite the fact he's definitely was very very committed to being an idol and doing what he's done with infinite for the last seven years things obviously change and he wants to go do something else so it's good to see that willem entertainment is um you know being supportive of that although that shouldn't i don't i don't think that should be unexpected because by all accounts they have a very the infinite members and the and the ceo of the company and other staff and all stuff they have a really good relationship so they don't like you know hate each other and of course this whole thing went down nicely so you know their their good relationship going into it's probably played a part in the fact that this was a smooth and uneventful breakup and also the fact that well he he didn't just like sue the company to break his contract prematurely also probably uh you know got him a little bit of goodwill and, and some favor in that regard as well but i don't know maybe it's it's really interesting how how all of this kind of plays out because you know you've seen a lot of times when a for whatever reason it is where a group loses one member or a couple members when contract renew renewals are up for them and most of them renew but some of them don't is that it very frequently is kind of the mark of the end of that group's career not necessarily saying that that is going to be the case for infinite but you know it just it just kind of it very frequently just does kind of spell that it's like the writing is on the wall at that point and like well one member's gone and the other members have have got maybe what one or two more years left on their contracts that they signed to renew and at that point then they're going to be done as well I don't know if that's going to I don't I don't know if that's going to be anything to that that is going to be the case with Infinite. I don't know enough about the group to even speculate on that, but of course it is kind of a possibility that because of this it could be the catalyst for the future disbandment of the group in like 
not necessarily the very near future, but potentially in the medium future, next year, two, next one, two, or three years potentially. So it'll it'll be interesting to keep how, to see how that goes. It'll be interesting to see how their new release as uh, as six members or however many members there are in that group now um, is received because it's I mean it's it's you know slightly different lineup than it than it has been. And I um, would presume that there were fans of his that potentially only were following Infinite and supporting them because of him. So they'll follow him and not Infinite. So it's all you know interesting. Not really necessarily big questions that have been asked or that are you know we're looking for answers for. But there are definitely questions that are well. I would like an answer to as to like you know what the future of Infinite as a group is going to be over the next couple of years. What direction they're going to take. Um, and just in general, how their, al- their their upcoming album and promotions are going to be received. Like, are they going to be as strong as they have been in the re- in recent years, or is it going to kind of have been as, or or will it have kind of fallen off a little bit because of this news? Or it, you know, all this just a couple questions. Not anything super crazy, but that's really all that I that I've got. This video, of course, not super long, not really a super crazy, you know, bit of news or much discussion to go beyond it. So that's all that I've got to say. You know, of course, just fed you a little bit of information. Hoya's leaving Willem Entertainment and thus Infinite. Infinite is going to be coming back as six members towards the end of the year is, is what the plan is with, that Willem has kind of revealed. And Hoya's doing his own thing, whether that's solo music or acting or whatever, the company is 100% supportive of that, and we got some questions. That's really it. So that's all I got to say. I want to know what you guys think about this situation. Are you sad that he's left? Do you not even really care that he's left? Are you potentially concerned that Infinite could be disbanding eventually because of this? Or this could be the mo- the, the, the starting point in a series of, of unfortunate events that leads to the disbanding of Infinite? I don't know. Whatever whatever this whole news has has made you feel, has made you think, then drop that stuff in the comments below. Whether you know it's it's a good comment or whether it's a bad comment or you know whether it's something that people are going to like or whether people are going to dislike. You know, unpopular opinions are definitely encouraged as well. So, if you got unpopular opinions, put those down in the comments below because we're trying to build a community here where like everyone's opinions are perfectly valid and acceptable. And we just, you know, freely discuss those without, you know, the the fear of being attacked for having different thoughts. So, you know, if you get if you get something to say, you want to join that community, you just want to, you know, join that discussion on a regular basis, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. You want to take the community offline, or I should say off of YouTube, not offline, but you want to take the community off of YouTube, then you can, of course, follow me on social media. I have a Twitter page, a Twitter account, Facebook, and an Instagram. So if you want to do that, get connected with me a little bit more, potentially get a little bit extra content that you wouldn't exactly get on YouTube, then all, all you got to do is search for me at ROK Music Review on whichever platform you choose, or you can follow one of the links in the description box below. So that's all that I've got to say for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.